In the greatest time of Almighty Allah, who is Rahman and Rahim, welcome back to the Dr. Majam lectures. In this video, we will talk about the determination of the liver borders and the palpation of the abdomen, especially the deep palpation of the abdomen. The determination of the liver borders can be done by the percussion of the liver. For the percussion of the liver, we have the three important lines. This one is the anterior middle line of the body. This is the mid clavicular line and this is the anterior axillary line. We should find out the upper border of the liver and the lower border of the liver. For finding the upper border of the liver, first of all we have to find out the lower border of the lungs. In order to find out the lower border of the lungs and upper border of the liver, we can do the percussion from the mid clavicular line. We will do like this, moving from clear sound to the dull sound. So this is a clear sound. Here we listen the dull sound. So I will mark a point here. Then on the anterior middle line, we can't do the percussion because there is a presence of sternum here. So that's why at the level of this point, I will mark point here at the middle line. Then on the third, I will do the percussion on the anterior axillary line like this, moving from clear sound towards the dull sound. Clear sound. So this is the dull sound. So this is basically the upper border of the liver. Now we will find out the lower border of the liver. In order to find out the lower border of the liver, so we have to do the percussion from the inferior part of the body, moving our hand towards the superior part of the body and sound will be tampening sound towards the dull sound like this. This is the tampanic sound. Here we got the dull sound. I will mark the point. Here is a dull point. If we talk about this point, again we are unable to do the percussion here because there is a presence of stomach here. So that's why we will do the percussion from the hypochondric side. So this is basically the hypochondric side. We will do the percussion from that side towards the z sternum. This is the tampanic sound. Here is a dull sound. So this is the lower border of the liver. We must have to know the normal size between these two points should be 7 centimeters plus minus 1 to centimeters between the mid clavicular line should be 8 centimeters plus minus 1 to centimeters and between the anterior axillary line 9 centimeters plus minus 1 to centimeter. Now the palpation of the abdomen, there are the two types of the palpation of the abdomen. One is basically known as the light palpation or the superficial palpation and second one is basically known as the deep palpation. First of all, we will talk about the light palpation, then we will move towards the deep palpation. So light palpation or it is also known as the superficial palpation. So the deepness should be 2 to 3 centimeters. If patient do not report any kind of pain, we start from the left inguinal region, slowly palpate these structures and moving little bit specks 
and ask the patient do you feel any kind of pain in that or not like this If patient reported any kind of pain, we can do from the opposite side. For example, if pain in that side, we can start palpating from that side. The end of the light palpation of the abdomen, we should have to find out the area where the pain is present and the muscle tenderness or the hernia. For the hernia, we put our hand like this and move slowly down like this. If there is a presence of hernia, obviously these borders of finger will go down. Now we will talk about the deep palpation of the abdomen. In the deep palpation, we palpate all the parts of the large intestine besides the rectum, liver, spleen and the kidneys liver spleen and kidneys normally they are not palpable but if there is any kind of enlargement we have to palpate these structures the palpation of the large intestine basically have the four important movements first of all we have to put our hand perpendicular to the structure like for example this is the descending colon this is the transverse colon and this is the ascending colon this is the cecum this is the vermiform appendix and this is the sigmoid colon for the palpation of the large intestine we have four important movements first one is basically put the hand perpendicular to the structure make the skin fold and third step is going deep up to the 7 to 8 centimeters and final step is basically palpate the structure like this simultaneously we will do on the all the structures of the large intestine like this after that the question arises in our mind that what we will notice here we must have to notice the surface enlargement, tenderness and the consistency in these structures which is the most important thing and after that we have to palpate the liver also for the palpation of liver again the same rule first of all we have to put the hand like this make the skin fold going deep and palpate like this but normally this is not palpable and on the spleen, spleen like the same first of all we have to grip this and make the skin fold going deep and palpate like this so this was all about the determination of the liver borders and deep palpation of the abdomen i hope that you like this video do subscribe to dr Nizam lectures